Welcome to our live training session number eight. We're going to be tuning an EK hatch with a K20 swap. Let's jump into some details about this so we can get started creating our base calibration file. So this has a K20A2 swap using an EP3 transmission. It has an aftermarket turbo kit that's a twin scroll T4 turbo kit using a Borg Warner S362 turbo, a three inch turbo back exhaust, it has a sheet metal intake manifold, a 90 mil throttle body, ID 1000 cc injectors, a drop in fuel pump, three port boost solenoid, a four bar map sensor. We're gonna be tuning this on 93 octane. It also has an AM X series wideband that's been wired into our K Pro V4 that we're gonna be doing and using for our tuning, setting up our closed loop control. We're gonna be taking a look at all that. So let's jump into this live training session now so we can create our base calibration file to get this video started. Okay, so let's jump into our live training session number eight now. We're gonna be tuning our EK hatch. It has a K20 swap. It's turbocharged, We're running Honda to K Pro. So we're gonna be going into our K manager now and creating our base calibration to start this live training session. So let's jump in here. I'm gonna go into my new calibration and I'm gonna be selecting my base calibration to start with. In this case, I'm gonna be selecting a stock K20A2 calibration file so that I'm going to go in and create that base map and show the entire process so we can, you can replicate that on your vehicle if you're turbocharged or you're supercharged or your force induction. That's gonna be really kind of the difference between our last live training video was a basic all motor bolt-ons. This is now gonna be a stock engine with a turbo kit installed. So let's jump down here through our directory. We're gonna be looking here at a K20A2 RSX stock tuned we want to go ahead and start with the most stock file we have available to us, which will be this file here. Let's click OK, and now we find that our file has uploaded into our K-Manager software. Now the next process, or the next step here that I always use in my workflow is programming all the details into the parameter section. So things such as our injector size, any kind of sensor changes, such as our map sensor has been changed, or uh, disabling VTEC, or setting our rev limit, or, or setting all the other detail parameters in the background first, then we're gonna jump into our tables here, set these up so they're gonna be ready for boost, and then we'll go in and upload this to the ECU, check our sensor calibration data, and then we're gonna be ready to start. So let's jump in here to our parameters, open up our window here and give it a second. We're gonna be working all the way from the upper left-hand corner here, all the way to the lower right-hand corner. We're gonna be going through all these different tabs 